lot of different choices on social media as to who'll be the hero here in overtime. Let's find out who's got the game on their stick. Puck is dropped on overtime. Let's find out if there's any heroes out there. Moves inside! Love save made by Demko. And now it's over to Brook. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. Let's it go. Denies him on the play. Florida's in transition. Into the corner. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. And a stick in the lane deflects that one away. Moves the puck along the half wall. Quick pass across to Brook. Puts it on net. Game on a stick. Wasa's going to hang on for a whistle. Fortier's looking to put this one away with his... ...be here in overtime. Wins the draw here in the defensive zone. They go on the attack through center. Handles it along the blue line. And he gets just enough of it to keep it out from the back of the net. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Look at it! Oh, one of the net! Hit the net. No chance to score if you don't get the puck on target. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Brooks carrying it ahead. To his teammate! And that one's broken up. This one's still up for grabs in the final minute of sudden death. Vegas has the puck. Nice speed at center moves up ahead now. Centering pass! And he can't find his man. Here's a short pass to Natchez. For the win! There it is! Let's take a look at the rest of the action on the ice tonight in the National Hockey League. The Panthers were hoping to play spoiler against the Golden Knights. Vegas pulls this one out in overtime. The Blues were hoping to fly high on the road against the Kings. Los Angeles turns in one of their stronger efforts of the year and pick up the win. The Rangers were on the road up against the Ducks. The New York Rangers terrific in the shootout and they get the extra point. Lots more to get to on the ice. Stay with us, everybody.
You love these moments of drama. Overtime is set to get underway. Oh, the anticipation ramping up in this barn. You can just feel it right now. Moment of truth for both sides. Sudden death overtime. Let's get it on. That's kicked away with a pad by Demko. Puck said down the ice. We'll get an icing. Dirksen certainly in a confident state here. His point streak's extending, and he wants to keep it going. Some last-second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. You don't spend much time in your zone if you can win the draw like that. Quick pass to Brook. That's turned away with a pad by Blackwood. Slides the puck over. Close, but not close enough. He looks like he's trying to go right under the bar. He just elevates that a little bit too much. So close, yet so far. Puck grab by Brook. Nice zone entry from the right side. Here's a chance! Oh, what a slide! And there's a much-needed whistle, Ray. Back in the day, you'd just take the puck and shoot it up into the crowd. That's a penalty now. The only stop you can get is from the goalie freezing it. Hortier's won the draw. Oh, he got all of that with a blocker. What a stop by Blackwood. In tight, he had to make an excellent save. Moves the puck. Looking to end it. Answered the call on that play. Moves it quickly over to Brook. For the win. And he keeps it alive. What a stop. The Bruins move to the offensive zone. Oh, and it stays out. I think he made a toe save on that one. From the left side, they gain the zone. Here's the pass. Looking to end it. And he denied that opportunity. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Fortier's got a chance to help his team skate away with My two mic points was off. tonight. Let's see if he uses his zone ability uh, and help them succeed here I, in overtime. I said, uh, I left... I left that thing because I didn't oh, and so make it. I, my PS Plus expired and I kept on Maho's inquiring me. So I just got really the annoyed. Bruins will take it behind the net. The Golden Knights look to start the transition game. They've got numbers. Chance to win it. Oh, and he missed. No, he did, and he now it's grabbed by Hoaglander. He carries the puck up along the wing. Here's a chance! Oh, what a save by Demko! The Bruins gain possession along the wall. Vegas moves ahead with the puck. Hortier's going to play it against the half wall. A chance for the win! And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Hoaglander's gaining momentum. Boston's in now. Let's it go! Makes the save! The Golden Knights move it ahead. Receives the pass. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps oh, it back in. Up. There's the horn. Overtime fails to find us a winner, so we'll take it to a shootout next here on EA Sports. Did I say shootout? Time for the shootout. I'm and sure. so many people will complain about it, but when it's time to actually let this thing unfold, there is not a single person I know that looks away. Shootout time. Let's get it on. Hortier's up next. It's his time to shine. Oh, what a cool. scores! He really sells it. The goalie bites on the deep, and he's able to finish it off. And he oh. buries it for the goal. I really like how he made this look like he was going to deep, but he doesn't. He stays with the shot, and he capitalizes. Tucks it in Let's for go. the goal! Not the save this. The goaltender here. He sells the initial uh -oh, move. not this good. The goalie can't catch. Steps up and that, owns it. Uh-oh. That's why you're at the end of the shootout. Uh-oh. That glitch. I hate that glitch. The pressure increases as the shots dwindle down. He had to score. Scores! Good night! Coach has him at the end. He's got a lot of faith in him, and he rewards him with a night.
take a look around the league and some of the final scores out there tonight. The Bruins were on the road to take on the Golden Knights. Vegas picks up the shootout victory and the two points to go with it. The Panthers faced off with the Canucks. Vancouver too much to deal with in the extra frame and they win it in overtime. The Hurricanes were hoping to grab two points overtime up against the Blue out. Jackets. Carolina I'm pulls cool. off some OT know. heroics and get the win. Hey, we got to pay a couple of bills here, but we got a lot more action we got to get to. Stay with us. Hey, no uh, shortage of action and drama on the ice tonight. Let's take a look at what happened elsewhere. Oilers. The Oilers well. were in a dogfight on the road up against the Lightning. Tampa turns it up to another level in oh. this one, and they pick up the win. The Habs were in tough with the Stars. Dallas powers this one out with a strong game in their own end. The Jets were hoping to come up with two points on the road against the Rangers. The New York Rangers tightened it up late when they needed to most, and they pick up the two points. Uh, no. Hey, a few more hot button issues we gotta get to. It's a jam packed show tonight. Stick around. When you look at players who have started and finished their respective careers with just one team, I mean, it's rare. I and mean, look at that. the greatest player in the history of the sport, Wayne Gretzky, right? Where did he play? Edmonton, LA, St. Louis. Oh yeah, that place. Yeah, New York. You know, the great one kicked around to four different markets over the course of his career. Right? And if he moves, you know, it kind of tells you that everybody can move. And here he still is in this town, in this market, still doing what he does, probably underappreciated by most of this fan base. But that means something, right? Those players, you know, you look at Mario Lemieux, always oh, a, penguin, a penguin, right? Once a penguin, always a penguin. And I think you don't see that much in today's in today's game, in today's age. It's rare, very rare. And I think there is something to be said about that for somebody who stays loyal with one team and one city. And I don't know if he gets quite the respect and appreciation that he deserves here in this town. Let's go to the phones. You tell me if I'm wrong on this one, okay? We got Petey. What's up, Pete? Oh. I want to back up. He played too. Yeah, probably look for. I'll get back those hundred followers in one game. <coughs> okay, we've been really, we've been doing pretty bad actually. Busy night of action on the ice. Let's take a look at some of the finals that are in from tonight. The Capitals had an on-ice collision with the Rangers. Washington puts on a clinical defensive effort and skate off with the win. The Blue Jackets oh battled it out against the Wild. Columbus tightened it up late when they needed to most, and they pick up the two points. The Blues had their hands full with the Stars. St. Louis posts the two points after coming up clutch in the skills competition in the shootout. 
Don't even think about touching that dial or touching that button. We've got plenty more on the ice, and that's next. Two teams looking to hoard points inside the Pacific Division, ready to collide on the ice. Hi, everybody. James and Ray for EA Sports. Both these teams look ready to go, as does the official. Let's bring it on. The Golden Knights start with possession as we are now underway. Quick feed to Kravstov. Strong defensive effort. Seattle's looking to break out. Steps inside the line. Takes the feed at the point. He scores! And this place was rocking already. Boy, they even got more rockets. Man, they were pumped after the anthem. Now they get a good first shift and an early goal. And they're up one. He can make those crisp, accurate passes. And we saw it on that play, guys. His tape-to-tape -tape superstar ability helped set up that goal. And he's got the assist. Moves it to Fortier. Puts it on net. Denied by the goaltender. With the stop. Here he is on the rebound. Oh, wow. Stops him again. He's like a back. He scores! Oh, my. Aye, aye, captain. I love this, James. I mean, this is kind of what I did. You get into close quarters here. That puck's got to go quick into the net. Lots of time left in this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. And now he moves it quickly to Niederreiter. Sends a pass over. He was locked in there. Brooks taking it from his own end. And it's a quick pass to Natchez. Up along the wing. Hits an on man rush. Two on one. Oh, big time blocker stopped by Georgiev. Here's a short pass to Natchez. From one point man to another. He scores! Breaks the deadlock! Really good play at the net. And now somebody's got a lead, and we'll see if they can increase it. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. Roslovic's won the draw here in the neutral zone. Now a quick pass to Brook. The Kraken have possession along the boards. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Oh, and it's another save on the play. I like how he was able to follow the puck. Good save in close. Drives to the sweet spot. Oh, what a stop with the paddle. Dismissed that chance. Doesn't lose his focus as he makes a couple of quick ones in a row. And he slides it quickly to Niederreiter. Along the wing up the neutral zone. A chance. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Handles the puck. Sends the pass over. 
along the half wall with the puck. A shot! Off the skate and score! You, you can have it bounce off from skate, James, but look at that. They've waved this off. This looks like a kicking motion is ruled by the referee. Puck picked up by Hamilton. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. The Golden Knights will play it in their own end. Quick pass to Roslovic. Takes a shot. Oh, oh, the outside of the frame. The Golden Knights quickly started to look at the tablets on the bench to see if that puck hit the post and went in or crossed the line. It didn't, and the lead will remain the same. Carries it across the line. The Golden Knights have it from their own end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Scores! You get one, you get hungry for a second one. Even if you're not a goal scorer, you get that early. Now you want to hunt for a second goal. Makes it a double on the play. He's tight to the net. He doesn't have... Snapshot beats the goaltender from the low slot. Well past the midway mark of this period. The Golden Knights just recently adding to their lead. They're now up by three. Oh, we got a piece to keep it out. Scores! Oh, my. I think he almost gave up on this. He can't find the puck, and he just stands there. This thing beats him cleanly. He never saw it. Excuse me. Seattle's won it. Hamilton's got it along the wing. Going down with the puck. And we're going to get a face-off after the offside. known for his one zone ability and his teammates love setting him up for that lethal one-timer when on the attack geeky's very accurate when he gets in tight to the net his close quarter zone ability means his short range shooting is some of the best in the game i'll be watching these two players to see if one of them can really shine for their team tonight guys back to you here's a shot Stars! His second of the night. When you get one, you start to get greedy. You want another one. You know it could be your night. Now he's got two. If that's me, first thought is, I could get three. I know I can. Dig for the next one. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Vegas has won the draw, and they take possession in the neutral zone. Puts it towards the net, and they score. Oh. Time to take a look at what happened around the league as we check in on some of the scores. The Knights took on the Kraken. Vegas puts on a magical offensive display for the win. The Flyers were looking to steal two against the Sharks. San Jose triumphs in the shootout, and the bragging rights to go with it are theirs. The Jets were hoping to quiet the crowd on the road. All right, lots of wild happenings on the ice tonight. Let's take a look at some of the scores of what went down. The Maple Leafs were looking to grab points on the road against the Kraken. Seattle topples the opposition with a strong defensive effort. The Blue Shirts took to the road to match up with the Blue Jackets. The New York Rangers terrorized the opposition with a magical offensive display. The Blackhawks took to the ice to lock up with the Islanders. Chicago torched their opponents with a big offensive display. 
We got a jam-packed show. We've got a lot more stuff we got to get to, so don't even think about going anywhere. Stay with us. All right, let's go around the horn and see what happened elsewhere around the NHL tonight. The Ducks were in a dogfight on the road against the Coyotes. Arizona played a complete game in this one and easily get the regulation win. The story on the ice continues in a moment.
Welcome, everybody, along with Ray Ferraro. I'm James Cebulski to this EA Sports Showdown, and we are fired up. Let's drop the puck already. The Golden Knights take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. In the offensive zone with the puck. You know he's thinking about his next milestone that's sitting one goal away. The Senators take it across the blue line. Ottawa's got the puck in the corner. The Senators looking against the half wall. From the slot! And the puck dies with the trapper save. Oh, he snaps the glove save off there. Excellent chance in the slot. Nice pass. Brooks got the puck. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. Oh, what another save! Knight's going to opt for the whistle and give everybody a chance to breathe. Sometimes you get one okay. round as the shift gets long. This helps. Lots I'm only going to be played in this uh, period. So the puck is Still just no, no one, one in front of me. The Golden Knights like, win the draw. There's no, like, Takes opponent. Takes to the front. Oh, what a stick save. These are frustrating. Hold up. Review. No goal. You don't get many chances like this. I thought he made a good shot, but the goalie, an excellent stop, beats the shooter. Time for our own version of the tail of the tape with Ray Ferraro's Razor's Edge. Razor? One of the many mental battles a goalie faces is that they're not really playing the guy at the other end of the ice. I mean, they, they never shoot on him, they never run into him. They've got to stop the puck that comes at them and can't worry what the other guy's doing. Razor, we've had a pretty good sample size, 30 games in here now. What do you think of the rookie? This is what I do think, James. I'm starting to look at him like he's not a rookie. He looks like an everyday player, a guy that has kind of fast-forwarded himself through that initial awkward stage. He's a good player. All right, let's get an assessment for the body of work from what you've seen from the rookie at this point. Uh, there's a long way to go for him. I mean, he had such a nice preseason where you thought that he could be an impact player, but... The game is too quick for him, James. It's been enough games where you look and say, maybe he's just not ready. Vegas takes possession off the faceoff. Pass back to the point. I think I glitched it, so takes the they feed. think I'm a rookie. Takes a shot and makes the save. Ottawa's got the puck in the defensive end. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Shoots it. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Demko. Takes the pass. Moves it quickly over to Kraftstop. Ottawa's got control of it now from their own end. Here they come up along the wing. And he slides it quickly to Kraftstop. And that doesn't exactly go tape to tape. Quick feed to Fortier. Under all sorts of pressure, trying to protect the puck. Takes a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Vegas has it. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Here's a chance. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Ottawa's got the puck along the wall. Oh, an unbelievable stop by Demko. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. The game is still scoreless. Ottawa's won the draw. That's blocked. Takes the puck along the boards. Lots of bumps and bruises in the course of the game. This one looks like it took a little bite out of him, but I think he's going to try and finish this shift. Fires one on goal. Shuts him down. To the low slot. From point blank. Comes up with a monster save in front. He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. Wrists one. Too much traffic in the lane. From the right side, takes the pass. It's a two-on-one. A chance in front. Stopped by the goaltender. 
And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. We're still scoreless. And he scores! The offensive zone faceoff gives them the jump on puck possession. Shortly thereafter, it's in the net. That faceoff is the key, though. Vegas gets the game's first goal here, now leading 1 0. I like the way that they've played this period. You get some ebb and flow, sure, but now they've got the lead and they can control the pace. Throws it on goal, denies him with the pad. Puliarvi's lugging the puck, moves it to Terry. Along the right side into the offensive zone. No room for that one to get through. Ottawa's on the attack. Works it across to Roslovic. Into the offensive zone. Right in the slot. And that's intercepted in the defensive end. Takes the feed. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. The Golden Knights take it along the wall. Turns it over. The Senators have stolen a bunch of pucks tonight, and I'm telling you, James, in a close game, this easily could be the difference. Vegas has it in the neutral zone. And it takes a shot. Blocked in front. And he regains control of the puck. Angles it over to Shabbat. The Senators are in transition. Drives it to the crease. The Golden Knights gain possession. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Here's a short pass to Pugliarvi. Puts it up front. Denies him in close. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Fortier's got that 1T zone ability, which is his powerful one-timer shot. Kucherov's a dangerous shooter when he keeps his head up and his feet moving, guys. His make-it-snappy zone ability makes him so hard to stop when he's shooting in motion. One of these players is going to help give their team the upper hand tonight. Guys, back to you. Vegas takes hold of the puck. Through center. Cuts this to the is a pretty tight game. From the slot, puck will go. Not gonna go short. He misses by a large margin. He's right in the middle of the ice. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Wrists one, fires one. And with that, the first period comes to an end. <coughs> Both teams will have a chance to get a breather, and they'll be back on the ice with period number two in not too long. Now is your chance to play clean. Join us at our arena as the first sports and entertainment facility in the entire country to use 100% renewable energy. Drop your plastic cups, bottles, and clean paper products in the Play Clean recycling bins located throughout the arena. Thank you for joining us in a campaign to save energy and keep our city clean. Both teams back on the ice. They're lined up, and period number two is about ready to go. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. Let's it go. And he comes up with it. Goalie plays it up. Vegas plays it up ahead. Quick shot. Gives them nothing in front. They work the puck into a scoring spot. Get a pretty good chance on goal. They just can't find a way to finish it off. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Back to the point it goes. And he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the paddle. Moves into the slot and makes the save. He scores! And look at the flare with the bottle ray. When it spins in the air and the water's flying around, it looks awesome. Oh. The fact that he can shoot this puck while in full motion makes it so difficult for the goaltender to keep up. He makes that release snappy, and it's in the net. Ottawa's got it in their own zone. Cutting to the slot. 
The Golden Knights get a hold of the puck in their own end. Sends it quickly to Kravstov. And they cough it up in the neutral zone. Here's a chance. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it. And it stays out of the net. Here's a chance on the attack. Oh, no luck as it goes off the outside of the post. Vegas isn't too thrilled that that puck hit the post and bounced the wrong way for them. But at least they've still got the lead. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. Kucherov's trying to change this game all by himself. That's not going to work. I mean, I, I don't fault the effort. It's just simple. It's sometimes a lot better. Ottawa's got control of the puck. Looking for space inside the D zone. They go on the attack from the left side. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. I think early in the year he gets a couple and you can feel his confidence grow and grow and grow. He looks like he thinks he's going to score almost every night. The Golden Knights win it in the defensive zone. And now he angles it across to pull Yarvi. The Senators take possession here in the open ice. Tosses it to Kucherov. Here's a chance. And that's denied by Demko. Demko's been sharp when he's had to be. He's got a good save percentage here tonight. And his team's in good shape. puliarvi has got it in the defensive end. Quick pass to Roslovic. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. The Senators take it along the wall. Wrist shot from the slot. Blocked by Demko. Sometimes you're in close. There's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Goes right to the crease. Just wide. You don't get the puck dead center very often. He's got to capitalize. You wonder if that'll come back to haunt them. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Vegas has possession of the puck. Gaining momentum along the wing. Moves it quickly over to Brook. Big time stop there. Slides the puck down low. Receives the pass. Oh, what a stop. With the puck under siege. Can he get out of the zone here? Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Slides the puck over. Looking to set up offensively. Moves the puck. Cuts into the paint. Oh, up the post. Taken along the wall by Puglia Yarby. And that one's blocked. Vegas slips to attack. And now he moves it quickly to Anderson. Right to the middle. Stopped by the goaltender. Now he looked up to the roof after that one. He thought he had room. The goaltender makes the stop. Slides the puck ahead to Batherson. Quick shot. Oh, fantastic save by Denko. Picked up along the wall by Batherson. Denies him in front. Sometimes you make a good shot and you just get beaten by the goaltender. I'd say that's one that you put in that category. That opportunity is rejected. Yeah, he's right in front of the puck, too. So there's really nowhere that puck's going to squeak through. Here in the late goings of the period... The Golden Knights are currently sitting in the driver's seat, leading 2-0. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Steps inside. Sends a pass over. Too much congestion in front. Quick feed to Brook. Goalie with a stop. Knight's going to hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James. He needed a cover there. Natras makes everybody around him that much better. Because he can pass the puck so well, his teammates get open, they find themselves on the other end of a scoring chance. He's in the top ten of assists because of his abilities. Moves it to Anderson. And a great save! They're working really hard these days to make sure when they stop the puck, it doesn't stay in front of them. If they can't stop it and catch it, they want that puck in the corner. And nearing the final minute of the second. The Senators will play it from the corner. Vegas has it in the defensive end. Nietzsche moves it into the attacking end. Stays with it. And it's a quick pass to Kravstov. Handles the puck. 
big stick saved by the goaltender. And with that, two periods now in the books. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports, and we got the third period coming at you in moments. The officials are set. The players are set. Ray Ferraro between the benches is set. I'm James Cebulski. Let's go. Moment of truth for one team. Here we go. Third period is underway. Well, we've got two periods under our belts to this point so far. Ray, how do you see things? Ottawa's had such a meager total of shots on goal. Predictably, they haven't scored. They've got to get more pucks to the net. Takes a shot. And that goes off a player in front. Nietzsche takes it along the wing. Here's a short pass to Fortier. Oh, how did that stay out? What a toe stop on the play. Lots of time left in this period. 2-0 is the score. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. Denies him on the stopper. Here he is in front. Oh, it stops him again. He reacts late, but he makes a save through traffic. The centermen glide into position. Ottawa's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. Shot! Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. Through center along the wing. Centering pass! Scores! Perfect timing to get a marker here. Well, they finally... All right, let's get all you poolies and all you hockey fans caught up on all the action out on the ice tonight. The Golden Knights were hoping to take a bite out of the Senators. Ottawa parties it up in the shootout as they get the extra point in the win. What? The Oilers took to the road to match up with the Maple Leafs. Toronto tucked this one out, and they get the two points. The Lightning paired up with the Flames. Tampa Bay puts up a strong defensive front when it mattered most, and they the get the win. A very special guest drops by on the show, and we'll do that next.
I'm back. Don't get too discouraged. There's a tough thing along the I got injured. Now this is the nice to see the kid back there between the pipes as well. What a performance first game since coming off the injured list yeah. and responds with a tremendous effort, at least in my opinion. Uh, made some big saves all throughout, and you could just tell the team seemed to really respond with his return back into the lineup. You know, I think back to some of those stops, especially in the early outset of the game, right? Just to kind of set the tone and get that rhythm really. Any volatility in the standings across the NHL tonight? Well, let's take a look at some of the final scores to find out. The Penguins look to run rough shot over the Coyotes. Pittsburgh tops the opposition in a game that had a little bit of everything on this night. The Sharks had a tall order to fill as they tried to take two on the road against the Canucks. Vancouver pressed huh. on, always persevered, what? and get the win. The Islanders took to the ice for a collision with the Jets. What? The New York Islanders triumphed easily in this one. Don't go anywhere. We've got much more here on the show. Still need to get up. Shut up. All right, as we uh, welcome Ray Ferraro back to the show, and Ray and the family are having a holiday party that I can't wait to get to in a couple of days from now, man. Yeah, we may change the address. <laughs> hey, come on! I was excited for that. Um, hey, I wanted to ask you a little bit about the Calder race right now as we're kind of getting close yeah. to Christmas. We've seen a little bit now. and um, The hometown goalie, does he, is, he's not in the conversation, is he? Now let's take a look at some of the rest of the action tonight in okay, the NHL. I can't let in. Oh, the Jets I could only let in one goal. Two points against the Canucks. Winnipeg played their best when it mattered most, and they get the overtime win. The Wild played on the road against the Coyotes. Arizona takes the win in a very close game. The Bruins faced off against the Flyers. Boston pulverizes their opponents with a big offensive night. 
We got to take a quick break, everybody, but we've got a lot more to get to. Stay with us. Needs to be a B plus. All right, let's take a look at some of the final scores in the league tonight. The Golden Knights were on the road to take on the Jets. Vegas tapped into another gear late, and they pick up the victory. The Red Wings went toe-to-toe -to -toe on the road against the Capitals. Washington powers their way to victory, showing a lot of grit in both ends of the ice. The Flames took to the ice to battle the Ducks. Calgary takes this one with a strong effort at both ends of the ice. We gotta take a quick break, but we got a lot more coming your way next. Well, busy night in the National Hockey League. Let's see what happened elsewhere on the ice. The Preds were hoping their offense would show up in a big way against the Flyers. Philadelphia performed brilliantly offensively in the win. The Devils were hoping to play spoiler against the Kraken. New Jersey took this one with a strong defensive effort in their own end. The Flames were hoping to fly high on the road against the Lightning. Tampa powers through in a tight one. Lots more puck talk coming your way, and we'll get to it next.
A B C D E G H I J I mean, this is the closest band name. Two teams craving points inside the NHL's Western Conference go at it here tonight on the ice. A James Cebulski, Ray Ferraro ready to go. Opening face-off just moments away. The Golden Knights start with possession as we are now underway. Great pass from off the right side. <laughs> Hortier's got it in the offensive zone. The Golden Knights play the puck from the back of the net. Quick stop by Hill. Stone stick handling in his own zone. Saucer pass across. Dead eyes him on the play. Vegas with possession in their own zone. Brooks got it along the boards. Minnesota's looking to break out of their own end. Sends the pass over. Fires it into the offensive zone. Vegas takes possession along the wall. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Stones picking up steam. Nice pass. Grabs it with the glove. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Stone's yoink zone ability is when he picks his opponent's pockets to switch from defense to offense. Fortier's teammates love setting him up for a one-timer, and his best chances come from that 1T zone ability. Look out for one of these players to be a big factor in tonight's game. James and Ray, back to you. Takes a shot, and he makes the save. Vegas plays it against the boards. And they won't connect on that one. Hill's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Stone's known for turning the tables with his yoink zone ability. He's so good at takeaways and stripping the opposition of the puck, guys. And that's how he can spark things for his squad. Slides it back to the blue line. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. Still looking for our first goal. Passes it over to Stone. Nice zone entry from the middle. Drives to the paint. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Moves it to the offensive zone. Rister, and that carries off a stick. Hill's gonna hang on to the puck for a whistle. 
Teams are ready for the draw. The linesman about to drop the puck. Minnesota's got it in the defensive zone. Carries the puck up through center. Shot! Turns it aside with the glove. Into the offensive end now. Quick pass to Roslevic. Oh, just wide! Pugliarvi's working it around in the corner. Denies him! Hill somehow able to make this save. I, I think from my position that this is going in the net. But he gets just enough of it. Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Past the midway mark in this period. Still scoreless in this one. Erickson X won it off the faceoff. Puck sent over to Alfredson. Across the line from center. Snaps one here in the slot. Made the stop on the play. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. Makes a move in front. Denied with the blocker. Minnesota's regained possession of the puck. Takes the feed. He grabs the puck here at the point. And he says no! There's another stop! Quick reflexes and good positioning to make a couple of stops in a row. Oh, it stays out! He got a piece of that one! Here's a shot! Oh, another consecutive stop! Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Nice pass back. Minnesota's got the puck at center. Here's a chance. Oh my. He scores! The captain leading by example! That was so bad. Was the Wild have found the game's goodness. first goal here in the back half of the opening frame. I've liked the way they've played this period. Even when they've gotten a little wobbly, they get it back on track pretty quickly, and they've got a 1 0 lead. From point blank range! All right, at this time, everyone, we'll catch you up on what went down and all the action in the league tonight. The Wild played a game against the Golden Knights. Minnesota pummels the opposition with a strong offensive output. The Blues were on the road up against the Blackhawks. Chicago turns in a complete effort, and it's enough to pick up the win. The Lightning played a game against the Panthers. Florida put in a gritty effort and were able to scratch out the victory. We are as cool as ice, and we are bringing you many more stories from the NHL. We're doing it next. All right, at this time, let's get you caught up on all the action on the ice tonight. The Ducks were on the road to take on the Capitals. Anaheim topples the opposition with a strong effort at both ends. The Pens faced off with the Predators. Nashville posted the shutout, making it look easy in the win. Time for a quick break, but we got a lot more coming up on the ice next. Great night to be on the couch and watching hockey. Tons of scores around the league. Let's take a look at what went down. The Avs were hoping to grab two points up against the Predators. Nashville turned it up a notch in their defensive game, and they pick up the shutout victory. 
Hey, we gotta take a quick pause for the cause, but we got a lot more on the other side. Don't even think about leaving us. And to me, I thought the story in this one was the man of the hour between the pipes as he picks up career win number 200 in his career. Unbelievable to think, hey, he was just hoping to crack the team coming out of training camp not too long ago. And here we are now with 200 career wins and counting. Congratulations. All right, we've got... We'll crunch some of the numbers. We'll look into some of... Here's an interesting sidebar story going into this one, and the youngster who has been so good all season long between the pipes could establish a new mark for most wins by a rookie in a single season. If it's if a shutout win, the w tonight, that'd be good. What a remarkable season he's already had. Uh, for him to step in and make an impact like this as a rookie, it's been quite important. Hey, a nice little impressive victory for the kid as not only does he get the two points for the team, but he also establishes a new franchise mark. Two points. Most wins by a rookie two in a single second. season. So there's a little bragging rights for what has been a very productive season for him in his freshman campaign here in and the National Hockey League. All right, still I to think. come, we'll get to the phones. We'll also get to the... No. Play my old team. I'm not here to make promises. We do one? I don't know. Yeah, that would be nice. But I'm not gonna make a promise. See? Because, like, that might happen. Let's go. I took the record I think for a real positive rookie. story that we've Shut seen, up. and I think it's fair to kind of get to, and, and we've talked about it, I think, a few times already, but his bounce back this season. You know, it was a clunker of a year last year for him, but he's bounced back in a big way, and I think that's a huge sigh of relief organizationally. To me, I think he always had it in him. I think I thought it would be just more of a blip on the radar than it would be a long-term problem. Uh, and I think that's proving to be the case here right now where he's he's performed really well I like to see he's got his confidence back and I mean I think that's critical with his game because I don't think it's ever been a physical thing to me It was just probably more mental last season and he's shining brightly this time around all right time for a quick break We got a lot more to get to on the other all side right. Oh, another shutout, that's nice. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm not sure if the other one was me or if it was the backup. Speaking of puck stoppers, Ray, the young goaltender here, does he have a shot at the Calder in your mind here at this point? Well, I do have a vote, James, um, and I wouldn't ha I wouldn't be voting for him right now. And uh, I, I think some of it is just the, the competition this year is extremely stiff. But as a goaltender, it's hard to play enough to make everybody notice you. He's had some up and down performances and. He's outside my top group right now. Yeah, no, it seems like he's still got a ways to go, and I guess it depends on how he finishes here. Uh... Okay, everybody, let's take a quick look at some of the final scores around the league tonight. The Knights were in a dogfight on the road up against the Rangers. Vegas played pad the stats night, winning easily in this one. The Kings were in tough with the Red Wings. Detroit tightened it up in their own end, and as a result, they get the payoff with a shutout win. The Blues were hoping to come up with two points on the road against the Predators. St. Louis pounds the opposition into submission with a big goal-scoring night. We'll check the inbox, we'll check the text line, and hear what you have to say next.
Get our special conversation with the Hockey Hall of Famer coming up a little later on. Meantime, hey, look, locally, they have been hemorrhaging way too many goals as of late. And the youngster has kind of been uh, subject of a lot of criticism right here on this show as well. We've seen a lot of texts, a lot of stuff on social media as well and on the phone lines. And the coaching staff clearly sees the same thing that a lot of you are seeing as well. They pulled the youngster aside and sent a direct message, I think, uh, prior to the skate to say, hey, look, you've got to be better. We need more. A lot of people on social media as well itching to get in here as well. We'll get to those in a moment. But, hey, I got to say this, and I know some people have been really critical about the young goaltender. I want to say I like what I've seen here over the last five games. He was challenged by the coaching staff to be better, and I know there's some nights where... The, the puck's probably going in a little more than most of us would like to see. But I will say this. You cannot look at me with a straight face and tell me he has underperformed. He has played well. He has made some big-time stops on multiple nights. And this has not been him. He has played well. I think he could use a little help in front of him a little more from time to time. But this kid has responded fairly well in my eyes since he was challenged by the coaching staff going back a couple of weeks ago. All right, let's go to the phones. Let's go to line number three. Trade deadline coming up just around the corner. I'll get to that in just a second as we continue our conversation here with Ray Ferraro. Uh, we see uh, political candidates dropping out of races. Can athletes drop out of trophy races here, Ray? Well, you don't get to pick that you're dropping out, but your performance will drop you out of yeah. the race. And unfortunately, I'd say for the for the youngster here who who stops Pox, he hasn't stopped enough of them to stay in in the Calder race. It's a you know, it's a pretty good group of first-year players, and uh, I, I just don't think he's done enough to stay in that top end of this ring. Well, let's take a look at how the standings were impacted with some of the final scores around the league tonight. The Jets had an on-ice collision with the Canadians. Winnipeg takes this one in a tightly contested affair, and the bragging rights to go with it. We got to take a quick pause for the cause, but we got a lot more coming up on the other side. Stay with us. Oh. Arizona's our rival. Okay.
And let's see what we have done. I'll tell you what, one meantime. of the things I'm most intrigued looking ahead to tonight's game is the fact that how does this young goaltender respond in his first sort of hostile environment where the intensity gets cranked up? These two teams hate each other, right? There's no sugarcoating this. This is one of the more I intense rivalries you'll them. find in the game these days. The fans are always in, engaged in this one. So how does he handle the mindset going into a game like this where it's just going to be a little chippier and he's going to feel it in front as well. So that's one key that I'm focusing on. Another area of the Probably game that I'm also go against most. them. One yeah, we go against them three times. Well, some so. fun, some drama, a little bit of everything on the ice tonight. Let's take a look at some of those scores around the league. The Kraken played on the road against the Blackhawks. Seattle poked out a victory in a tight one. The Sharks battled it out against the Jets. Winnipeg turns in Coyotes a strong defensive Coyotes. effort, enough to preserve the win. The Flyers had their hands full with the Bruins. Boston plastered the opposition with goals, goals, and even more goals lots more still to come including the story in the mma the hardwood and more stay with us rookie most wins they have more wins than losses I want the Heart Memorial. That's central. What do I need to do to get the Heart Memorial? Most value in his team. Da -da 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 -da. Ooh, they have. Do I want to play this game? Not sure. Oh, we got Hamilton. Ha Ham yeah, Hamilton on our team now. So what's the approach when you get to the rink on a day where it's a big game here, Razor? Well, everybody does it different. Like, the rookie wants to get there. He's one of those guys who gets there way early. He likes to sit in quiet, contemplate. Other guys like noise around them. Myself, I stayed closer to the room. Oh, let's they do it, know everybody. It. How yeah. you doing? Jake Stavolsky, Ray Ferraro for game. EA Sports, ready to bring you all the play-by-play -play details for this yeah. Western Conference yeah. collision. The Golden Knights take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Puts it on net with the stop. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. We're still in the early stages of this period. We've still got zeros on the board. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Puts it on net. Save made with the pad. Slides it diagonally to Erickson Eck. Arizona's got it in the offensive zone. Close save. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. 
a pretty good decision here with Bro, I got the players starting to break wins. down in front of them. Puck has dropped and we are back underway. Passes it to Kravstov. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Down the right side and into the zone. Takes the pass. Denies him with the pad. Vegas plays it along the wall. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Tries to feed it over to Peterson. Takes the feed. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Takes a shot, and there's the save. The Golden Knights take it along the wing. Moves it quickly over to Rustin. Puts it on that. Oh, my. Oh, it goes right up the post. Denied by the goaltender. Over the line they come. Hammers a shot. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. Nice zone entry on the left side. Quick feed to Kravstov. Let's go. They came, they saw, they took the chance of the rebound and score. Always a tough shot to read for the goaltender. The backhander is sharp, quick, and delivered perfectly. It's in the net before the goalie can react. Shooting a backhander. He works at, and with his beauty backhand superstar ability, he was able to bury that chance. Natchez wins it in the neutral zone, and he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Receives the pass. Arizona's ready to go on the attack. Into the corner now. The Golden Knights gain possession in their own end. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Shot. And that goes off a player. Looks to set up at the point now. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. Vegas has the 1-0 lead. The Golden Knights take possession off the faceoff. Arizona's got the puck. Moves it to Erickson. Okay, after this game. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Shuts them down. Yeah, the after this game. And tries to make a diagonal pass to pull Yarvi. Carla Bay, you out there in the building tonight? I'm out here, James. It's intense. I don't know if you can feel it upstairs. It's a rivalry game. We know what those are about. So do the fans. But it's the rookies' first time playing this team. Back upstairs. It is feisty up here. Even some of the media guys are throwing elbows up here tonight. As play rolls on. The Coyotes slide it through center. Erickson X going to play it against the half wall. The Golden Knights look to start the transition game. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Great poke check on the reach. Peterson's got it into offensive territory. Here's a short pass to Erickson Eck. Glove save. Excellent chance. They work the puck into position, and it's a scoring chance that's turned away. Slides it across, and the puck banks off the glove. Oh, and it's another save on the play. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Past the halfway mark of this period, the Golden Knights have taken a 1-0 lead. Great save by Vasilevsky. Arizona's got a hold of the puck. Sends a pass over. Peltier's got it against the boards. Tries to the crease. His reflexes on display tonight. From behind the net. Quick pass to Fegamo. Right in front. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Slides the puck over. The Golden Finally. Knights gain control of it. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. Slap it. Snaps it on net. Oh, he is right at him. He gets a sliver of it. Oh and my. Of Picked up along the boards Slap by it. Kravstow. There he is. There it is. The big four. Oh. 
You don't get very many years that go this good. So when you get a chance to finish this off, you want to bang in your milestone goal. He doesn't miss too many, James. He leads his team in goals for a reason. Here in the late goings of the period, Vegas has really pushed the pace over these last few minutes, leading by a pair. The Coyotes win the faceoff. Moves the puck. Loves the puck into the offensive zone corner. Moves it quickly over to Samarukov. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. The Golden Knights take it across the line. Here's a shot. Can't get it to go. From the boards, he takes that pass. Puts it to the front of the net. Snaps it on net. Turned aside with a glove. The most fun save for the goaltender, the glove stop. Pasternak's dangerous when he shoots pucks that are flat and settled on the ice. His snipe zone ability is that accuracy from having full control of the puck. Fortier's got that 1T zone ability, which is his powerful one-timer shot. I'm expecting one of these two players to give their team the edge tonight. Guys, back to you. Centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. Fortier's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Fagamo's gaining momentum. Shillington's last stick's in the garbage dump. He had to go get a new one. The Coyotes have the puck in the corner. Puts it on net, and that one's turned away. Tries to get the puck to Kravstov. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Here's a chance, fires the wrist shot. Made the save on the play. With the stop. And with that, the first period is in the books. Both teams with a chance and a refresh will get a clean sheet of ice and come back with period number two. Both teams back on the ice after the first intermission. Ray Ferraro, James Sabalski ready to bring in the call for period number two. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Kicked away. Nice feed from the goaltender. Arizona's got a hold of it against the wall. Takes the puck at the point. Takes a shot. Scores! All over the rebound and tucks it in for the goal. The Coyotes are back to center ice, and they have narrowed that gap. Cut the lead in half. The comeback's on. Now they must push forward, see if they can get the equalizer. Great defensive effort with the stick. Quick feed to Fortier. This is a confident player right here. He's got two goals earlier in the game. He's got the puck on his stick. He's got to be thinking about number three. Fortier's taking it from his own end. Handles the puck. Cutting to the front of the net. The Golden Knights gain control of the puck against the wall. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Puck scooped up by Eric Sinek. Gaining momentum up along the side. Here he is from the slot. Stones him in front. Yeah, I hated when I missed chances like this, James. You don't get many that are this quality. You want to put them away because you don't know when the next one's going to come. Denies that opportunity. Vegas is on the attack. And the puck dies with the trapper save. He's on it. Good chance, but he's able to glove that shot. Still lots of time left here in this frame. The Coyotes have answered back in these last few minutes, but still need one more to even the score. Ortiz won the draw. Rips it. What a stop as he puts out the fire. Teams are lined up, and we are ready to take this draw. The Coyotes get a hold of the puck in their own end. Arizona's got it in their own zone. Moving to the middle. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Oh, there's one more. Hat -trick. He scores! And that's the hat trick. And here comes the rain. The hats start piling onto the ice. The celebration 
shows it's just not a normal goal. The hat trick's always special. Guys, he used his close quarter superstar ability on that play to light the lamp. And if he can get in tight to the net like that, he can get some really good looks. The Golden Knights win the draw here in the neutral zone. Moves the puck along the half wall. Takes it to the front. Oh, just gets a piece of it with the toe stop. He's sharp on this one. Out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. From the slot, wrist shot. Oh, what a save in front. Uh, he's going to feel he missed one there. You don't get many chances that clean. The goalie turns it aside. Turns it aside with a glove. Nearing the midway mark of the period. The Golden Knights now lead by two. The Coyotes win it in the defensive zone. Sends the pass over. Pasternak's got it along the wing. Moves inside! Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Moves it to Pugliarvi. Takes a shot. Gets in front of it. Get that slop out of here. He makes the stop, and there's no rebound. Off in the corner it is. Here in the back half of this period, the Golden Knights are up 3-1. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Arizona's looking to break out. On the attack along the boards. Makes the glove stop. Puck is frozen and we get a stoppage in play. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. Erickson X won it in their own end. Beautiful feed up ahead from the right wing side. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Moves the puck over to Natchez. Now a quick pass to Terry. From the slot, wrist shot. Glove save made by Vasilevsky. wins the draw nice pass and the puck banks off the glove Vasilevsky's got to be looking at his bench and saying hey fellas help me out here a little bit he's had a great save percentage tonight but they're still trailing puck grab by Pulak with some open space here in the neutral zone moves right to the middle oh what a save by Vasilevsky that's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Turn that chance aside. He gets that one, too. Scooped up along the wall by Terry. They sure aren't running out of gas here, James. This shift is endless. Big time stop there. And now he moves it to Pugliarvi. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. Good save. Positional save through traffic. Here in the late goings of the period, it's a two-goal lead we're looking at with the score 3-1. Vegas wins the draw here in the offensive zone. Long reach breaks up the momentum. And that's stopped by Vasilevsky. I like the way he tracks the puck here. He's got to find it, and then he gets his body right in front of it. That's a good save. And both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. Erickson X won a big draw on their own end. Here's a short pass to Peterson. Arizona's moving it into the offensive end. And now he tries to get it across to Pasternak. He was locked in there. Along the wing up the neutral zone. 
Takes the pass. That's goal! Right on the doorstep. The rebound there to be had. And they made no mistake about tucking that one home. Whoops. I'm gonna go and eat. And I'll tell you what, look no further than what we saw between the pipes from that youngster in his first game playing against an rivalry like that. Those two teams hate each other, and he was a difference maker. And you gotta love that if you're the coaching staff to know you can get that type of game, and that type of effort in a moment like that from a youngster. Oh, that builds so much trust and confidence in your coaching staff, and it also gives the kid a ton of confidence as well. All right, another area, if you look at some of the numbers in this one. Let's check in on some of the final scores across the league tonight. The Coyotes took on the Golden Knights. Vegas put on a show offensively in the win. The Rangers were looking to steal two against the Predators. Nashville tramples the opposition with a big offensive night. The Kings were hoping to quiet the crowd on the road against the Flames. Calgary posts an impressive win in a tightly contested affair. Lots more to get to on the ice. Stay with us, everybody.
Let's take a look at the scoreboard and what went down tonight on the ice. The Jets were looking to grab points on the road against the Ducks. Anaheim, too much talent to handle in the shootout, and they come away with the win. The Hurricanes took to the road to match up with the Blues. St. Louis peppered the opposition with plenty of goals en route to the win. The Rangers took to the ice to lock up with the Blackhawks. The New York Rangers took it to the net in this one, and they pick up the win. Hey, we got to pay a couple of bills here, but we got a lot more action we got to get to. Stay with us. Elsewhere around the league, we might just find out tomorrow night who will be the league's top rookie with a head-to-head -head showdown between these two. Because I have loved what I have seen from this young rookie netminder. But at the same time, have you seen the highlights from what this explosive dynamic talent has been doing? Lighting the lamp across the league? This, I would say this. I think a lot of people with votes for the rookie of the year will be watching this and depending on how either one of these two fare this might ultimately determine who wins the calder at the end of this season all right time for a quick break we're coming back with more on the other side Saw, dude. <laughs> He's in my womb. Win, loss. When. When. Loss. 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 Let's take a Win. look at the rest of the action on the ice tonight in the National Hockey League. The Golden Knights were in a dogfight on the road against the Blackhawks. Chicago puts up a clean sheet in the shutout victory. What a performance between the pipes. The Cats were hoping to take a bite out of the Hurricanes. Florida teed up a victory in a couple of key storylines to watch tonight watch between the pipes as this team has lost five straight games my understanding is that the coaching staff challenged the young rookie goaltender it was uh underneath the pile of blanket at some point that blanket scuffling in front of them at some point you need your goaltender to steal one and that's exactly what they've asked for the kid to do can he deliver only time will tell and we're getting closer and closer to face -off. Let's take a look around the league and some Win. of the final scores out there tonight. The Penguins took to the road to match up with the Blackhawks. Chicago pulverizes their opponents with a big offensive effort. The Capitals look to run rough shot over the Jets. Washington tore it up offensively and they easily come away with the win. The Avs had a tall order to fill as they tried to take two on the road against the Kraken. Seattle punches their way to victory thanks to a strong offensive display. We need to keep on winning. We need to win this one. And breathe. Right? Exhale.
right, for more on this, we bring in my broadcast colleague, Ray Ferraro. Uh, award season, buddy. Did you put a tuxedo on for this? I did not. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, humor Who's got me a on these. Anymore, anyway. Well, I mean, I guess just rental companies, I suppose. Yeah, that's a fair point. Uh, okay, humor me on this for as we go through some of these awards. The Calder. How do you view this? And does the local product, does the the young goaltender, does he have a shot for this? I, I look at the Calder race this year as clumped at the very top. Three or four great candidates. Uh, the goalie here has fallen off the pack. Uh, I thought earlier in the year he had played so well and really had started a string of games in a row and I thought, man, maybe he's going to take the net over, but he's regressed a little bit and uh, oh. for me, he's outside the top group. Is clumped an analytic term? It is officially an analytic term. <laughs> okay, look at, look at the Norris Trophy race here for a second. One circle, one circle, one big circle. One circle, one circle, one big circle. Won the Stanley Cup. Thank you, for Canucks. You know, look, I don't think there's a debate at any point in time anymore. I think it's pretty fair to say that he is that cornerstone franchise player that everybody was hoping he could turn out to be. He's probably even better than what we anticipated, to be honest with you. I love the way he plays. I love what he brings on a regular basis. He is, I think, officially in the NHL universe, a franchise cornerstone player. I don't think there's any denying that from what we've seen so far this year. All right, time for a quick break. I want to get to the phones next. Pacific Division. Oh. Shut me down on MTV.
Alter. You know, I, I will say this, and I think the fans love him. I think they've been really impressed with what they've seen in the early goings of his career. I think the good question that I think a lot of people that cover this team are asking. Can he be that cornerstone? Can he be that franchise player? You know, he's certainly shown flashes of it, right? He's shown flashes, and I think that's why you see so many people buying jerseys with his name and number on the back. But I don't think I'm ready to anoint him a franchise cornerstone player just yet. He's got all the makings to be, but I still want to see more going forward. Let's go to the phones. How are you feeling about this one? The bell? Yeah, it's the bell. The top of it. No shortage of action and drama on the ice tonight. Let's take a look at what happened elsewhere. The Panthers took to the ice for a collision with the Flyers. Florida toasts their opponents with a night filled with goals. The Canucks were looking to steal two points against the Kraken. Vancouver pulls one out of the fire in a tightly contested affair. The Leafs faced off against the Penguins. Toronto tested their medal in this one, but they still come away with the win. Hey, a few more hot button issues we gotta get to. It's a jam packed show tonight. Here, Stick around. What did he throw in? Okay. What? Hmm. You're gonna pick up that ball? Pick what? Oh, like the jersey and stuff. Yeah. Malachi's leaving. What? Malachi's leaving my room. He's entering it. When you look at players who have started and finished their respective careers with just one team, I mean, it's rare. I mean, look at that. the greatest player in the history of the sport, Wayne Gretzky, right? Where did he play? Edmonton, L.A., St. Louis. Oh, yeah, that place. Yeah, New York. You know, the great one kicked around to four different markets over the course of his career. Right? And if he moves, you know, it kind of tells you that everybody can move. And here he still is, in this town, in this market, still doing what he does, probably underappreciated by most of this fan base. But that means something, right? Those players, you know, you look at Mario Lemieux, always a penguin, right? Once a penguin, always a penguin. And I think you don't see that much in today's in today's game in today's age it's rare very rare he's leaving i think there's something to be said about that 
for somebody who stays loyal with one team and one city. I don't know if he gets quite the respect and appreciation that he deserves here in this town. Oh, Let's go to the phones. You tell me if I'm wrong on this one, okay? We got Petey. What's up, Petey? Busy night of action on the ice. Let's take a look at some of the finals that are in from tonight. The Senators were on the road. Time to take a look at what happened around the league as we check in on some of the Malachi. scores. The Canadians Hi. went toe to toe on the road against the Predators. Montreal <coughs> tore it up on the Ow. score sheet, easily coming away with the win. The Maple Leafs took to the ice to battle the Wild. Minnesota posts a strong effort in goal and they get the shutout in the win. The Bolts were hoping their offense would show up in a big way against the Bruins. Tampa Bay taps into another gear and they get the win. Don't even think about touching that dial or touching that button. We've got plenty more on the ice, and that's next.
All right, lots of wild happenings on the ice tonight. Let's take a look at some of the scores of what went down. The Caps were hoping to play spoiler against the Blues. St. Louis put up a strong fight, and they do enough to get the win. The Flames were hoping to fly high on the road against the Hurricanes. Carolina treated everyone to a magical offensive display, and they come away with the win. We got a jam-packed show. We've got a lot more stuff we got to get to, so don't even think about going anywhere. Stay with us. All right, let's go around the and see what happened elsewhere around the NHL tonight. The Jets were on the road up against the Red Wings. Winnipeg proves to be a little too much on this night, and they pick up the two points. The Canucks were on the road to take on the Lightning. Vancouver took this one on the heels of a big performance in the shootout. The Kraken paired up with the Blues. St. Louis posts a win in a close one. The story on the ice continues in a moment.
I'm like, dang, no. I don't know. Hi. 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 Uh-oh. He's going up. Um, anything you want to play with? You like, okay, here we go. <laughs> nice one, dude. You want to play with this? Yeah, you want to say, you want a wooden stick. What am I talking about? You want a wooden stick. You want a wooden stick. <laughs> so day and night. Okay, we should. I think we have good deal. Maybe we for the Victor Hyman. Headman. My right index the finger looks so beat up. Oh, I just saw a Demko jersey. The Oilers start with possession as we are now underway. What is that? Edmonton's got the puck along the oh. wall. <laughs> so I do it with Pizzazz. Ah! Pizzazz. That's cool. That's cool. That's him. Oh, I thought I was gonna bounce off his back. Who, who, who do they have in that? Just a simple save who do they? Sam Sonov. Vegas looks to go on the attack. Hey. The Oilers take over on Dry possession. Shadow. Gains the zone through center. Gets a glove on to make the save. No. Nope. Here's a shot. That's off a stick. Goalie leaves the net to play the puck. And now it's over to Hedl. Carries it across the line. Here's a shot. That's kicked away with the pad by Sam Soda. And he slides it quickly to Hedl. Chernak's got the puck along the wing. Shot. Oh, he somehow got a little piece of it. And it stays out of the net. And now he angles it across to Hedl. Receives the pass. Here's a blast. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Edmonton's got the puck in the defensive end. Dishes it to oh, Jesus. Malachi. The Oilers play it along the board. Streaking oh, through center, they go on the attack. Oh, Back at oh, the point, they set it up. Misses a golden opportunity there. Scores! The Oilers light the lane. Malachi. Edmonton's Malachi. The position that every coach loves, the lead. Then you can use your bench. Then you can use all of the combinations you might think will work for you. You've got a little bit of a cushion with a one-goal lead. Shot. Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. Straight up the middle. Here they come. Offside the call. We'll get a reset.
That feels good. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. We got a one nothing game to this point. Edmonton's won the draw and they take possession here in the open ice. Forsling's got the puck. Snaps one from the slot. And that's turned aside. Pushes it across to Kunin. The Golden Knights move it in. Quick pass to Kotkaniemi. Forces the turnover in the defensive zone. The Oilers have continually put themselves in good positions defensively tonight. It seems like every shift they're stealing a puck. Belanger's not been able to get anything going offensively. You can see the frustration bubbling up on him now. Official signals for the players to get into position, and we're about ready to drop the puck. Takes the shot! Oh, what a stop! The Golden Knights gain possession. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Kunin's carrying it ahead. Edmonton's got the puck. Moves it quickly over to LeBanc. Gains the zone through the middle. The Golden Knights get a hold of the puck in their own end. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Shot! Turned aside with the glove by Samson. Oh, here it goes. <laughs> Well past the midway mark of this period. Edmonton's up one zip. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Across the line. Can't connect on the pass. Quick feed to Roslovic. Gains the zone from the right side. And he regains control of the puck. Denies the shooter on that play. Great reflexes, another save. Here's a chance behind the net. Moves it to cut Kaniemi. Tremendous play for the team as he blocks it. Here's a short pass to Kunin. From in close. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Samsonov. Uh, by being in the right position, James, he gets so tight to the shooter. There's nowhere for the puck to go. The Oilers are on the attack. Quick pass to Dewar. Takes a wrist shot. Gives them nothing in front. Sometimes you make a good shot and you just get beaten by the goaltender. I'd say that's one that you put in that category. Edmonton's got possession of the puck. They're looking to make something happen through the neutral zone now. Puts the puck on net. And he comes up with it. Passes over to Fortier. <coughs> Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Sends it out right in front. Fantastic save. Takes it into the slot, and he elects to explore his options. Moves it quickly over to Dewar. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Pad save. He's on it tonight. The Golden Knights take it across the blue line. Quick feed to Hedo. That's turned away with the pad by Sam Sodov. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Moves it to Natchez. The Golden Knights take it along the wall. Big time save by Samsonov. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Some last second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. The Golden Knights will go to work here in the offensive zone. Stopped by Samsonov. There's the horn, still 40 more minutes left in regulation time. We'll get to the second period right after this. is about set to go. Edmonton's won it. Moves around along the half wall. Off a stick. 
The Oilers will play it against the wall. Here's a short pass to Garland. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. And he slides it quickly to Fortier. And now he moves it quickly to Hedl. The Oilers have it from their own end. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. A skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Sends a pass over. Oh, that's a big time save. I think he got him with a toe. Vegas has the puck. McAvoy's got it on the offensive end. And it's a quick pass to Hedman. Chance right in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Chernak's got it in the defensive end. To the low slot. The Golden Knights take possession in the defensive end. Quick pass to Hedl. The Golden Knights looking against the half wall. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Right in front of the net. They scores! We are tied! I like the way they've gone about this, James. They've kept working away, not taking too many chances, and their work has resulted in a tie game. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. It's all tied up. Here's a shot. Denies him on the play. Keeps hold of the puck. Nietzsche brings it in. Slides the puck over. Forsling stick handling in his own zone. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Looks to make a play over to Natchez. Along the half wall with the puck. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Now he takes it over the line and uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. The Golden Knights move to the offensive zone. Here's a chance. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. Both teams readying here for the faceoff. The Oilers win the draw. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. Through center along the wing. Puck picked up by Dreisaitl. Here he is, wrists it on net. And that shot dies in traffic. Looking to set up offensively. Centering pass in front. How did he stop that one? Stops him again. I love the way that he's in position and he's got the reflexes to bang out a couple of stops in a row. And there's a much needed whistle, Ray. Back in the day, you just take the puck and shoot it up into the crowd. That's a penalty now. The only stop you can get is from the goalie freezing it. More than half the period has expired. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Moves it quickly over to Dreisaitl. And he makes a save on that play. These are frustrating. You don't get many chances like this. I thought he made a good shot, but the goalie, an excellent stop, beats the shooter. From the place 99 made famous. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Cuts to the front. Oh, to Nysung with the paddle save. Really good work. I like this chance here as they get the puck into a scoring spot. Goalie's just better on this time. Edmonton's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Vegas plays the puck along the boards. Quick feed to Coonan. And that one's stopped. And tries to make a diagonal pass to McAvoy. Oh, he stops him with a glove. Great reflexes there. Samsonov's probably the one reason that this game is the way it is. His save percentage has been outstanding. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Edmonton's got possession here in their own end. Oh, what a paddle save on the play. Yeah, he's right in front of the puck, too. So there's really nowhere that puck's going to squeak through. Snaps it onto the... Okay. No. Bad. No.
In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Getting into the later stages of this period, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Vegas wins the faceoff. Boy. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Here's a shot. Turns it aside. Towards moving it ahead. Cuts into the paint. Quick pass to Natchez. Vegas is in the offensive zone. Now a quick pass to Hedman. That's some smart heads up defensive play by LeBanc. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. And now it's grabbed by Natchez. Moves it to McAvoy. And he slides it quickly to Hedman. Natchez has the puck against the half wall. Second period nearly in the books here. Quick pass across to Forsling. Steps across the blue line. Dewar's got it to the side. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Hammers the shot. Makes the save. And there's the horn. Two down, one more to go. Both teams will get a chance to uh, catch their breath and get ready for a big third period next. All right, then it's time for tonight's lucky road giveaway. Congratulations to Section 107, Row F. Each fan receives a limited edition player's T-shirt. And fans, don't forget to purchase your player T-shirt tonight only at our team store. And we are just moments away from the start of the third period. Third period is now underway. Nope. No, boo boo. Don't do that. No. 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 Bad. Bad. He's good one. That hurts. Unplug my TV. Thank you. 
Come back, I know. Very tightly contested here so far. Drives to the sweet spot. Always stays out. He got a piece of that one. They worked the puck into a scoring spot. Get a pretty good chance on goal. They just can't find a way to finish it off. Samsonov's gonna hang on to the puck for a whistle. We're still in the early stages of this period. We got a tie game. Vegas will go to work here in the offensive end. Quick pass to Fortier. Denies him! Taken along the wall by Hito. Let's go. They take the lead! Well, it looked like this game was going to be even for the longest time because nobody seemed to have the upper hand. Really tough for the goalie to read where the heck this thing's going. I'm looking at the shot. I can't tell where it's going, but the backhander beats the goaltender. The Golden Knights come up with a big goal here in the third. There's a difference between sitting back and protecting and trying to grow the lead. I always like the team that works to make a one-goal lead, too. Moves it quickly over to Natchez, and he makes the save. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Edmonton's got it along the wall. They've got the defense outnumbered. Takes a shot. Denies him with the pad. 
And there's another stop. No, oh, he's on it there. Both saves are really good ones. Nice zone entry from the right side. And that pass attempt is deflected. Here's a short pass to Natchez. Grabbed along the board by Hedman. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. And that one's broken up. They go on the attack through center. Quick feed to Dreisaitl. And that pass can't connect. Vegas is across the blue line. With possession along the wall. And they can't connect. I'm a dual the Oilers moving ahead. The Golden Knights gain control of the puck. They've got some momentum here. Chance in front. Oh, what a stop on the play. Gets all of it with the paddle. Yeah, he gets out on top of the shooter. There's really nowhere for that puck to go. Vegas steps inside. Centering pass. Denies him in front. Chernak's lugging the puck. Sends the pass over. And look at this. We've got a two-on-one. Turn that one aside. Moves the puck. Oh, what a stop as he gets a piece of it with his toe. Great poke check on the reach. Cross to Natchez. Pushes it across to Kotkaniemi. The Golden Knights play it along the boards. Moves it off the outside of the iron. Vegas would have liked a little bit of a break there. The puck hits the post and bounces away. Samsonov's going to cover it up. He's been busy tonight, Ray. And been good. A lot of times you get busy and worn down. I think that's why you jump on it, freeze it in a close game. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. It's 2-1. Edmonton's moving it up the ice. Chernak's got it against the boards. Quick pass to LeBanc. Vegas gains a hold of it. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Great defensive effort with the stick. Feeds it over to LeBanc. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. The Oilers have the puck in the corner. Here's a chance. Scores! Right back to the beginning of the night. When the game was tied to start, nobody has the upper hand anymore. Edmonton's got a little mojo back on their step after that goal here in the third. You work and you try and keep yourself light, you keep yourself aggressive, but if nothing happens for you, it gets pretty heavy. They feel good now. Takes a shot, makes the save of the Trapper. Oh, it stops him again. Right spot, makes the double save. Positioning does it all. Icing is the call. We'll get a face up at the other end. Puck possession so critical. Another face off coming up here. Edmonton's won the face off. That was an important face off, James. Now they got an offensive zone possession. The Golden Knights have it now. Moves it quickly over to Roslevic. Vegas moves it ahead. Here's a short pass to Kotkaniemi. Chernak's got the puck in his own zone. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Big time stop. Slides the puck across to Hedman. Edmonton's got possession at center. The Oilers will play it in their own end. Takes a shot. Big time glove save. Up along the wing. Quick feed to Kunin. And the puck skips off the oh. glove. Nice pass. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Takes a shot. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps him at bay. Here in the late going of the frame, we are all tied up in this one. Roslovic's won the faceoff. Moves it to Kotkaniemi. The Golden Knights take it across the line. 
Here he is, shot right in front. Makes it look easy with the stop. I thought they worked the puck around pretty good. Here they get a good chance on goal, but not to be. Under a minute to go here in regulation time. Gains the zone from the right. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Cannon of a shot. Oh. Puts it in time for the head goal. Control the game now. You finally got the lead. You worked so hard to get in front. Don't give it up now. Edmonton's coaches are pretty active on the bench there, Ray. What are you hearing? Well, they're happy that they've got the lead, but they want to make sure that nobody sits back to defend. The Golden Knights win it. Quick pass to Hedo. Yep. And now he passes up to Fortier. Handles the puck. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. Goalie on the bench, and the extra attacker's out for a much-needed goal. You practice this, you're ready for it, and it starts with the face-off. Edmonton's won the uh -oh. face-off deep in their own end. A chance to ice it into the empty net. The Golden Knights have it now. Takes the feed. Move to the middle. Right yes! Scores! Oh, there it is, James. Eventually, if you give up chances, you're going to give one up. But I thought it was too late. Yet they find a way to level the game off. Face off looming as both centers get into position. Dry Seidel's won the draw here in the neutral zone. Edmonton's got it along the wall. Takes the pass from the boards. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Okay. And with that, we are heading to overtime. Get those OT picks in on social media, and we will see if we can find a winner next. Every playoff game, our team score brings you our item of the game. Stay warm and stylish here at the rink with a scarf tonight priced at just ten dollars. Make sure to stop oh, off first, so team store the team store here. Team player, I'm gonna And they are ready passing. to drop the puck here in OT. Overtime is underway. Ferraro, next goal wins. Takes a shot. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Samsonov. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Portier's won the draw. Long jam in front. That's broken up. The Oilers in transition at center. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Nice zone entry on the left side. For the nice goal. And they score! That's the game! Vegas looked like they were on their heels, but they deliver big time in overtime. Sometimes you have to reach deep. They were able to do it, and they find the game winner even when it looked like they were scrambling around a little bit. All right, let's get all you poolies and all you hockey fans caught up on all the action out on the ice tonight. The Golden Knights faced off with the Oilers. Vegas posts the overtime winner and come away with the extra point. The Ducks were hoping to grab two points up against the Wild. Minnesota treated everybody to a brilliant offensive display. Was there any volatility in the standings across the NHL tonight? Well, let's take a look at some of the final scores to find out. The Knights were in a dogfight on the road up against the Oilers. Vegas posts the overtime winner late, and they get the two points. The Ducks were in tough with the Wild. Minnesota topples their opponents with a strong offensive effort. 
The Coyotes were hoping to come up with two points on the road against the Avalanche. Colorado put on a show offensively in the win. A very special guest drops by on the show, and we'll do that next. the kid back there between the pipes as well what a performance first game since coming off the injured list and responds with a tremendous effort at least in my opinion uh, made some big saves all throughout and you could just tell the team seemed to really respond with his return back into the lineup you know i think back to some of those stops especially in the early outset of the game right just to kind of set the tone and get that rhythm really looked comfortable quickly in my opinion and the team looked better off as a result of it when they made those saves down the stretch show continues Sabalski here with you and when you look back at a young player and their development moments like we saw with the overtime victory and the puck stopper who comes up clutch in his first overtime win that to me mentally we talk all about the physical attributes but mentally separates the good from the absolute elite and this kid locked it down when they needed to most. Shout out to him. He deserves it. And he deserves all the love that I'm seeing here on social media. Let's open up the phones and hear from you what you have to say. Phone lines are open now if you want to. After every game win, it's just...
going to be this rival. Before we wrap thing. things up here, I wanted to ask you uh, the Calder race. The hometown kid here, he, he's in that discussion still, I think. Oh, he is. I don't think there's any question, yeah. James. I mean, he's had a really good start to his NHL career. And early on, he pushed himself around the fringe of the of the Calder race, but right now he's in the thick of it, and I just don't see him falling apart here. This is uh, this will be a tightly contested race, and I, I think he'll be one of the finalists. Well, I'll be curious as things start to tighten up here these final couple of months of the season, but he's been excellent thus far. Uh, thanks very much for this. We will catch up on the other side. Is my mic in? No. Oh my, this. Oh, there's so much conversations. special conversation with the Hockey Hall of Famer coming up a little later on. Meantime, hey, look, locally, they have been hemorrhaging way too many goals as of late, and the youngster has kind of been uh, subject of a lot of criticism right here on this show as well. We've seen a lot of texts, a lot of stuff on social media as well and on the phone lines, and the coaching staff clearly sees the same thing that a lot of you are seeing as well. They pulled the youngster aside and sent a direct message, I think, uh, prior to the skate to say, hey, look, You've got to be better. We need more from you. And the idea of this goals against average where it's kind of floating around, it's a little too bloated for our liking, and we'd like to slim that down. We'll see how that message is responded to between the pipes here when we get the next opportunity.
Now let's take a look at some of the rest of the action tonight in the NHL. The Bees had an on-ice collision with the Lightning. Boston turned it up in the shootout, and they come away with the two-point win. The Isles battled it out against the Hurricanes. The New York Islanders took this one with a strong defensive effort in their own end. The Wild paired up with the Blues. St. Louis tore it up, seemed like almost everybody got on the score sheet in the win. Don't go anywhere. We've got much more here on the show. Welcome back to the show, everybody. James Sabalski with you for another few more minutes. And you look at the race for the Fesner right now. My money. And who would have thought they would have been saying this, especially this guy, not too long ago at the beginning of the season, that a rookie was your leading candidate to win the Vesna. But that's where I'm putting it. That's where I'm leaning towards. If I got a vote, that's who I'm taking. I just love the way he has played, bursting on the scene, exceeding expectations, not only in camp, but to this point, it's never wilted. He's never faltered. He has been excellent. He has been the best goalie in hockey. I don't care what other veterans have done. He's been the best goalie in hockey in my mind. What say you? We'll get our goalie analyst. Yes, he's going to drop on by and weigh in with his two cents and tell me whether I am absolutely right or whether I am out to lunch. And we'll do that in a moment here. around the league we might just find out tomorrow night who will be the league's top rookie with a head to head welcome Ray Ferraro to the show welcome back sir on your day off thank you for doing this yeah I was hoping I'd get a chance to talk to you today <laughs> hashtag blessed my friend uh, okay so here we are nitty gritty Calder obviously a lot of people excited here locally about their young goaltender is does yeah. he have consideration for your vote yeah he does I mean then they should be excited about him what a season he's had James I I thought he was gonna fade away most rookies in particular goaltenders the, the season gets long they get exposed as teams learn about them a little bit not him he's been outstanding and he absolutely is going to be in my final three for the calder trophy okay let's take a look at some of these divisional races going on around the league. And as we head into this playoff series, how about the announcement from the coaching staff opting to go with the rookie in goal? Name the starter. They're going with the kid. When this playoff series gets underway, I like the call. I don't mind it. You know, the future is now is the message, and they're going to go with the kid. Hopefully, youthful energy is going to be a difference maker in this series. Do you like the call? Let's hear from you. We've got a lot of people. <coughs> we 
Oh yeah, from my supernatural. Let's listen to these two. Oof. Here we are in this series right now as they trail by two games, and now you're starting to hear the media. They all, hey, look, as the series goes, ebbs and flows, the kid is wearing the goat horns right now. A lot of pressure on him. At least the media is painting the blame game, saying, hey, be a part of the solution or step up. You got to find a way to change this narrative. Right or wrong, hey, look, I think it's a big ass to try to ask a kid to try to turn the tide of a series in a rookie season. But I will say this, there's a reason why the media is on him, and there's also an expectation now that he has built, that people want to see him be better in these types of moments. And you know what, let's give some props to the young goaltender because everybody had no problem throwing dirt on him, kicking him while he was down, while he scuffled. And you know what, he responds with a big time effort to get, help get his team right back into this series and they've got some life. Hey, they're not out of it just yet, but it was a big step forward as he was feeling the pressure and feeling the heat from the media. And look at this, they pick up a much needed win to get back into the series. All right, still to come here on the show, we got a jammed up phone board. Let's go. Game seven.
I think, look, I don't think it's a problem, but I would say this, I don't think he has been as effective or as dominant as we've seen in the pipes from earlier in the postseason. I'm not, I'm not putting him in one of my con smite power rankings lists. He's not in that conversation anymore. I just, I don't know if he's tired going every other night the way the schedule has kind of gone, but fact is, I don't love his game right now. At least I don't love it as much as it was early in the playoffs, that's for sure. All right, back to the phones we go. We go to line four, Frederick. Well, here we go, Stanley Cup Finals just around the corner. And here's what I wonder, how does the kid show up in this, right? I mean, it's his first Stanley Cup game looming. Uh, he's been so good up to this point. I can only assume that just carries over into this finals round, but you know, you never know, right? Do you get a little shell-shocked because you're all of a sudden in the Stanley Cup Finals? Who knows? But if I'm willing to guess and if I'm willing to predict, which I like to do from time to time, my prediction is he's going to be one of the best players for this team in these Stanley Cup Finals. You mark my words. We'll see how it all plays out. Uh, still to come here on the show, we'll also go around. We have a pretty stocked team. Fred Platt. He looks pretty good. sure if they had a better season than us because they have 54 wins 20 losses we have 53 are days like this gearing up for a big game 25. agonizingly long sometimes they it's like the clock never moves remember when you were a kid and you were looking at the clock in school and you're like school, Would you please move along and nothing happens it's like that a lot for a player too and when you're a young player you don't have a lot of experience the nerves really build as the day goes on Here's a shot. Oh, an unbelievable stop by Blackwood. Handles the puck at the point. Moves it quickly over to Nature. Scores. Scores. And when I was playing at home, I loved that we could get on the board first. It really makes you feel like you can throw four or five into the net. This makes the coaches look smart every time. They depend on him for offense, and he delivers James time and time again. The Leafs win the faceoff. Vegas tries to break out from their own end. Takes the pass. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. The Leafs have the puck now. Taken by McCarr. Slides the puck over to Stempniak. 
Toronto's on the attack. Here's a shot. Stones him in front. He's going to go back to the bench and want to look at that one again. He had enough time to really make a good shot. I don't think he quite got it where he wanted to. Takes a shot. There's another stop. Takes the feed. Carlin Bathe is in the house tonight. CB, what do you got for us? James, you know how good this goalie is, but the world is recognizing it as well. People are saying he's in contention to win the Vesna this year. Can you believe it? Because social media can't. It's unbelievable what a remarkable run it's been so far. Takes a shot. Makes the save. Shillington's got it along the boards. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Here's a short pass to Kravstov. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Vegas has it in the offensive end. A chance! They score! Great positioning, just terrible luck as the puck goes off his skate. Now that's a goal scorer's goal right there, James. He establishes position low in the slot and zips the backhander past the goalie. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Vegas continues to lead by a pair of goals. On the attack along the boards. Here's a shot. Makes the save. I think through traffic like that, you're just hoping the thing hits you. Is a solid defender, but he can still throw up points for his club. The officials are in position, and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another face-off here. Picked up along the boards by Johansson. Oh, major league block on the play. Toronto's got the puck against the half wall. Drives it to the crease. Nice save from point-blank range. In tight, he had to make an excellent save. Pugliarvi's got it into offensive territory. Shot, and that's broken up. Yeah, puck doesn't get to the net. Good positioning by the defender. Takes the feet at the back end. Denies him with the pad. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Moves inside! Scores! They are on fire! Yeah, and it's all different sources to score a goal. <clears throat> Drake lose. What a performance by the kid out there. Are you kidding me? Yeah, the rookie so stepping up big time between the pipes, puts on a show in his first Stanley Cup Finals game, and what a debut performance as he was. You just got a sense that he was fired up for this one and steps up with a monster performance for his team. You got a sense that he wants to win. He wants this as much as anybody right now based on his performance in his debut in Lord Stanley's quest here. Uh, all right, still to come, we'll hear from the winning coach. We'll also hear... What's the score? One nothing. One nothing? He better win the Stanley go.
Bitch. Just moments away from the resumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. The Leafs take possession off the faceoff. Quick feed to Svechnikov. And that's intercepted by McAvoy. Shuts him down. Vegas will try to break out here shorthanded. Puck clear from the defensive end. From behind the net. Moves it to Kunin. Takes a shot. And that's denied by the goaltender. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the faceoff. The Leafs win it in the defensive zone. Directed over to Svechnikov. Here's a chance! Oh, how did he get a piece of that? And they get the puck out of the defensive end. Toronto's got the puck behind the net. From the right side, moves it up ahead. And skilled use of the stick to put the puck away. And they send it down the ice. And the goaltender's going to play it out of the crease. Looking to break out here on the power play. Takes it across the blue line. Here's an opportunity. Big save. Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. Fortune's point streak has been a thing to behold. You start to get superstitious on a run. You do everything the same. You wear the same suit all the time. Grabs the puck here in their own end. The Golden Knights are in transition. Quick pass to Paling. That's gloved by Blackwood. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Power play set to roll on as the setters get ready for the faceoff. The Golden Knights win the faceoff. The Leafs gain possession in their own end. Hammers a shot. Way too much congestion blocks that. And the puck leaves the zone. The Leafs have it against the wall. This is point night. Everybody, it seems, is on the board with either a goal or an assist. And since it's not over, even if you don't have one, you've got a chance still. This game is going to have goals right until the final horn. Svechnikov's gaining momentum. 
and uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Slides it up to Kravstov. Handles the puck from the left side. Denied by Blackwood. Blackwood's been a leader tonight. You don't need a speech. You need to play well. He's done that tonight, and he's kept his team right in it. The Leafs take it along the wall. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Vegas gains the zone. Moves it quickly over to Kravstov. And they come up empty-handed. The Golden Knights move the puck in the defensive zone. And now he moves it to Kravstov. Forte is able to take that quick pass. He's already got a couple of goals. He's looking for a third. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Well past the midway mark of this period. It's all tied up. The Leafs take possession off the faceoff. Feeds the puck across to Svechnikov. The Leafs play it along the wing. The Golden Knights have a hold of it in the defensive zone. The Leafs gain possession. Let's it go and makes the save. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Let's the wrister fly. Shuts it down with the paddle. What a stop. Takes a wrist shot. Oh, the puck doesn't get there. So crowded in front of the goaltender. The Leafs carry it along the wall. Here's a shot, and that's broken up. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. And no hiding how good he's been in these playoffs. One of the league leaders in points. Really tough to slow him down. The Golden Knights win the draw. <coughs> Vegas has it in the defensive end. Here's a short pass to Roslevic. Oh, what a stop as he uses his paddle to swat it away. Yeah, he got out tight to him, James. There's nowhere for that puck to go. Just here in the late stages of this frame. The big one as we are tied. Vegas takes possession off the draw. And he scores! Man, their bench jumped right up. Both teams know the longer you stay locked in a tie, luck starts to play a bigger part of the victory. Gets in the net. That's where the goals are. The rebound sits there, and he puts it away. The Golden Knights have taken a critical one-goal lead here in the third. What's the strategy now? The strategy shouldn't change. You now accept you have a little bit of a cushion, and it's that one-goal lead. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. Scores! We're all tied up! Oh, it's getting to a stage in the game where you think they're not going to be able to find the equalizer. But they stay at it, and they get it done. Toronto's late third period goal certainly opens up a lot of decision-making for the coaches, doesn't it? It does, but they must feel pretty good about their position because they just scored. I suspect they've got a little bit of a leg up, even though the game is tied. The Leafs take it along the wing. Toronto's got it against the boards. Shot right inside. Wow. Scores! Mm. A go-ahead goal! Uh, this game has been tight. Now somebody... Oh, sh... What can I do? Um... <clears throat> the Leafs are up by one. You don't like the term protect the lead, though. I, I hate it, James, because that means you're just inviting the other offense into your zone. Play it up the ice. It's way easier to defend 150 feet from your net. Tremendous stop by Blackwood. Sharp react. <coughs> Preview.
No go. I remember the first time I saw the trophy up close. It had just been polished like now and put on the table. I'd never been that close to it before. And I just couldn't believe that these guys were going to be able to hoist it over their head. Proceeds the pass. Come on. Sure. Scooped up by Fortier. The Leafs gain possession along the wall. Uh -uh. Toronto's moving it along the wing. A shot at the empty net. And that should pretty much put a bow on this one. Now that puck popped out and it was a clear lane to the net. So a nice empty netter to wrap it up. Mm -hmm. Toronto's added to their lead with the empty netter and Ray, that's pretty much all she wrote, I would say. Well, you grind away to get the lead through this much of the game and they pull the goalie, they're gonna pressure you. You put it away with a... They score! Okay, how many timeouts can you have? Because they need one now, they needed one before, and the way this is going, they're gonna need one in a few minutes. Or they could use the ghost of Roger Nielsen to wave that white towel. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Takes that pass back at the point. The Golden Knights take the puck through the neutral zone. Try to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. And there it is! Ray, you played close to 20 years. You've covered this game for years. What are you seeing down there? I don't think there's a debate at any point in time anymore. I think it's pretty fair to say that he is that cornerstone franchise player that everybody was hoping he could turn out to be. He's probably even better than what we anticipated, to be honest with you. I love the way he plays. I love what he brings on a regular basis. He is, I think, officially in the NHL universe, a franchise cornerstone player. I don't think there's any denying that from what we've seen so far this year. All right, time for a quick break. I want to get to the phones next. No, I got it wrong. Hmm, where did it go? Nice. When you go up and down this roster, I think most of these guys showed up and gave it everything they had. There were a couple of passengers, and I think we can kind of identify who it is because we'd heard these complaints, and you know what? We didn't get enough out of him. 
right? He didn't play well enough. You know, he's got that talent. Is there another gear? I think collectively we can all agree there is another gear in his game that we did not see in the postseason. Where was it? You know, is it a case of playing too tight? We haven't heard anything from an injury standpoint yet, so I don't know if you can play that excuse. Just don't think he was good enough. And that's disappointing as the season comes to an end. Hey, we gotta take a quick break. We got a jammed up foam board. Let's go to the... <clears throat> 